Hey everyone, it's Ken with Ken's Creation, and today we are going to talk about color. Yes, the number one reason I bought my Silhouette Cameo was the fact that I could do print and cuts in color. It's an amazing, awesome feature of this machine. So today we're going to be talking about the fill color, the fill gradient, and the fill pattern, and how you can incorporate those into your project. So for today's demonstration, I am using the Silhouette Designer Edition software, and I'm using the release of 3.0.343 SSDE, and the DE stands for Designer Edition. If you have not updated your software, I highly recommend it. And I know right now you're shaking your head no at me because it was a nightmare of an update for a lot of people. However, they've released updates and fixed and listened to their customers and made the appropriate changes, and it's amazing. I swear to you. Of course, you'll probably download it and it'll be a nightmare, so let's not do that. I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the first feature, which is the fill color option, which is this little paint bucket with the paint spilling out. Now you have your basic options and you have your advanced options. Basic is just that, it's pretty basic. Um, you select your item and you go select the color you want and it fills it to appropriate color. You also have this little box with the little lines through it. That basically means I don't want any color in the item. You have this little eyedropper. This is my favorite tool within a tool. All this eyedropper is, is I can look at a pattern like this here and it has many different colors. And let's say I want this circle to match this dark pink exactly. I just take this little eyedropper to that dark pink, click it, and now I know that this and this dark pink are a perfect match. I also then have this big box next to the eyedropper, and that is essentially just the last color you used. So if I wanted to keep duplicating that color, I would be able to do that by doing this. Okay? Now you have your advanced options. In the advanced options, you have this little wheel, or this little, I guess, bullseye, and this basically, you can move around to different colors. So I could keep going through, wow, it's kind of giving me a trip. Whee, look at all those colors. All right, moving on. So, or I can use these codes. Now, before I had the Silhouette Cameo, I had the Cricut Imagine, and the Cricut Imagine, I was introduced to RGB codes. Well, for this program, you have your RGB codes, which is your red, green, and blue. You also have these HSL codes, which are the hue saturated light codes, or you have HTML, or sometimes they call them web codes, and that's that little pound sign. Now, these come into play when you're trying to match papers or different colors. So if you use close to my heart paper or stamping up paper or um, stampings and you want it to be a perfect match, you can find those codes. Now I go to Google and let's say I'm looking at close to my heart RGB codes. And basically it comes up with these and here is first one, codes for 2012. And if I am... Oh, this is a download. Let's go to a different one. Okay, there we go. So let's say I am working with a specific color. So let's say I am making a card and my base is this sun-kissed yellow. It tells me what the RGB code is here. So it says red is 255, green is 251, and blue is 161. So I just come down here in these RGB codes and I change that. So the red was 255, your green was 251, and your blue was 161. And then here it is. Now I know that this yellow and this yellow sunkiss yellow paper are a perfect match. So when it prints, it's going to match that paper perfectly. You also have the HSL codes. So if I was in Google, I could actually just say, I want to look up HSL codes. 
and it's going to come up with a whole bunch of different codes and it's going to give you all the colors. These ones, there is a ton of them. So this is actually um, one I use a lot and I just um, put in HSL codes and basically let's say I want this Soylent green. It basically says your HSL is 91, 24, 55. So if I come up here and go 91, 24, 55, that green is now a perfect match to the Soylent green. I probably use this a lot, the HSL codes, and this is just one of my favorite sites I go to because it gives you all the different colors and your HSL colors. And usually your HSL colors will be a percentage because it's so much percentage of the hue, so much of the saturated, and so much of the light. The last one are your HTML or pound code. So you can just say pound codes or I call them HTML color codes. Now, HTML color codes originated for online when people were um, doing their websites and they wanted certain colors. This is where those originate from. But they work just as great in the Silhouette Studio software. So here's all your different colors. And basically, it gives you a pound sign. So I can actually go in, um, for example, let's say I want, I'm looking for Disney color codes because I want to match you know whatever a Disney color code is so if you go there and look for specific it will give you that pound sign um so for example if I wanted let me look up Disney let's go RGB codes because I know there's some RGB codes out there so right there Disney Mickey friends cartridge WG codes as you can see here, here's web color and your RGB codes. So let's say I am trying to match Minnie Mouse's dress. It tells me my HTM or pound code is 00B3E1. So I come over here and I go OOB3E1, B3E1, B3E1. And then it changes it to that color. If I wanted to do, let's see, this face color, which is a, a common peach color, it's FFDABC. So if I go in here and go FFDABC, and there's that peach face color. So the best way to find these is literally just go to Google and type HTML color codes or if you're looking for stamping up, that's a big popular one, RGB stampin' up. And it will actually give you all those RGB codes for stampin' up. So I use this a lot. One of the other tips I will tell you is always going to your images file. See all these different images? Look at all these different codes. RGB codes right there, all of them. RGB Perfect. Okay, so that is what these codes are for. The last thing is your transparency. So let's say you wanted this and you wanted it to be a little bit transparent. As you can see, as I move that down, your color is going to go from being a very bold and solid color all the way down to transparent, which is blank. So that's the first option. That's your fill color option. All right, so let's take a look at your gradient option. All a gradient is, is a way for colors to move from left to right. So for example, if I choose this red one, as you can see, it starts off red and the gradient goes to white. Now under the basic features, I can obviously go and choose all the different gradients. And there's tons of different ones, but then there's some new advanced features. Underneath the advanced features, you can actually change your gradients. So right now this goes black, red, white, red, black, red, white, red, black. So if I chose this one, see how you can move between the different colors? Let's say I wanted that white to be now yellow. And I wanted this one to be yellow. It actually changes your different gradients. I want this center black one to now be white. 
I can go through and customize each one however I want it. I can also move the gradient. See right there, you can actually move where that gradient is within your circle. The other thing is you can move the angle down here. So I can move that, as you can see, look at that circle. That gradient moves whatever which way. And last but not least, I can make it transparent or not transparent. I love the advanced features. I mean, you can match this to school colors, to game colors. Um, here's an orange block for Halloween. And then I can say, well, gosh, Halloween also has purple in it. So I could come down here and change that to purple to put a little bit of a purple in that. I could change this white to a green, and now it's a really fun Halloween color. I want it, that angle to go like that. Oh, but I want it a little transparent. These are all the features under that fill gradient. So it's an amazing um, feature, especially for print and cut, because you can make it look this neon. Look at this neon here. I mean, it's just amazing. The last feature is your fill pattern. Now, the fill pattern I love because you can actually fill an item with the pattern and print it now and use it in your projects. So, for example, right now I have this solid color. Now, you can get patterns by going to the Silhouette Store. You can also get patterns just by going to Google and looking up pattern. And seriously, just by doing this. You can actually get this pattern and download it into your Silhouette Studio software and use it. I love it. So for this demonstration, I'll just look at the patterns I do have, which are right here. So I have this circle here. Now one thing on patterns, and I don't know why, you're going to notice sometimes it does have a little bit of a leg. And I think that's just because the amount of patterns that is in the Silhouette Studio software for whatever reason, at times it does slow down the software. So do know that it's not something with your computer or anything wrong. It just sometimes, for whatever reason, has a leg. Um, so with patterns, um, I will use patterns a lot if I am doing um, a card and I want a pattern, but I don't want to necessarily cut the circle out of a pattern paper. I, I like a pattern in here. Um, I will use a pattern a lot. So as you can see here, you can select any pattern. There's a pattern. Um, for this demonstration, let's show you this animal pattern. Let me get rid of this one here. The reason I show you this one is, let me bring that up. So there's the pattern. It obviously did. Now under your advanced options under the fill pattern is you can have your image go horizontally which is going obviously left and right, or vertically, which as you can see, flipped my pattern upside down. So basically you're switching it left to right or up and down. You can fix or stretch your image. So fix basically means it's going to fix it within that item. So it's basically taking the pattern and putting it right over the item, where stretch is going to fill the pattern. You can also rotate your pattern. You can also turn your pattern. Now, the scale pattern is where you can actually go in now. So let's say I really like this pattern. Let's go and get this back to where it was. However, I want this scale to be much smaller. I want these, these items to be smaller. I can scale down my pattern. And as you can see, see how it scaled it down? or I can zoom way in just on one little guy. So that's under the scale option. And then the last thing is your um, rotate of the pattern. So if I hit rotate pattern, I can actually move this and rotate the pattern. So that means basically since I've scaled it, if I want, let's say, let me zoom in, and I'm zooming in super close and I'm like, well, I don't want this guy, I want this guy to be in the center. I hit pan pattern, grab this little thing that's right there, and move it to wherever I want within my pattern. So you hit pan pattern, and I can actually move the pattern around.
And then the last thing is the transparency, which will obviously make it light to dark. All right, guys, so that is your fill pattern. And know that when you do um, download into your pattern, it's not, your patterns won't end up in your library here where all your designs are. They'll actually end up in this My Patterns file. So here's all your patterns. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple um, stuff. Once again, you have your fill color, which will change colors. You have your fill gradient, which is a gradient where it will go from left to right. And then you have your fill pattern, which will be your pattern. Now, as you can see, let me show you one thing. When I'm on gradient and I chose this one, you're going to say, well, why is it just black? That's because on your pattern, you've scaled it in. So make sure you guys take a look at that. If you ever are not working and it's not working for you, it's probably because you scaled in your pattern. Okay, just keep that in mind. A lot of people um, don't think of that. Um, so it's something just you're going to want to know when you're when you're playing around with this. All right, guys, I hope that answered questions about the color option. By far, one of my favorite things in the Silhouette Studio software uh, because of the ability to print and cut. If you have any questions on this, go ahead and reach out to me. You can follow my blog at www.creativeken.blogspot.com. Make sure you check out my other YouTube videos where I will show you more with the Silhouette Studio software and coming soon, the Cricut Design Space software. All right, guys, thanks for watching again. Go out there, create something magical, and share it with the world. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching today's video, which was brought to you in part by Ken's Creation Patrons. You can become a Ken's Creation Patron by going to www.patreon dot com backslash Ken's Creations, where for to it for two dollars a month donation, you'll get access to Ken's Creations Patreon page, his exclusive Facebook Patreon page, where I will be sharing SVG files and a weekly free SVG file, and tons of support from the crafting community. Thank you so much in advance for your donation, and I look forward to having you as a patron.